Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, Katy Perry. Kill Mary Kiss. Taylor Swift would be the kiss. No, I mean, it's life, baby. It's life. I threw it out there. I threw the ball in her court. I was a little butthurt. I didn't get to hand her uh, one of the bracelets I made for her. You made her a bracelet? Yeah. If you're Out of what? If you're up on uh, Taylor Swift concerts, there are friendship bracelets. It looks like it's not just Kim Kardashian that's entering her NFL boyfriend era. Taylor Swift might also be joining the league of famous people who have dated NFL stars. Taylor Swift is single and ready to mingle. And as usual, there's been a lot of speculation surrounding who her new man could be since her breakup with Joe Alwyn. Only a few months ago, Taylor was rumored to be dating Maddie Healy, the lead singer for 1975. The rumors began when fans were convinced Taylor and Maddie were singing to each other at their concerts that were only one day apart. At first, it just looked like a coincidence, and the fans were making it more than it actually was, but then Taylor was spotted going on multiple dates with Maddie. But what really got the gossip mills churning was when Maddie was allegedly caught sneaking into Taylor's New York apartment. That definitely erased any doubts fans had about the two. Unfortunately, it looks like it was only a fling as the two stopped being seen together almost as fast as when the speculations about them being together started. But move over Maddie Healy because the one who's got the fans talking now is none other than Travis Kelsey. Travis has long been rumored to be Taylor's new man, and though fans have been speculating on whether or not they're together, it looks like things are finally confirmed with Taylor making a big statement about her new man. The lady that sells out every stadium in the world 10 times. The lady who wears a cardigan and sometimes feels like she's 22. The lady who plays for three and a half hours in the rain and Bill Belichick says, She's pretty tough, man. Yeah. She said, you know what? The man of my dreams that I'm going to marry, this isn't just date like no. others in the past. Uh-oh. Is an NFL guy. The internet went crazy when Taylor Swift showed up to watch Travis Kelsey's Kansas City Chiefs game with his mom, no less. How did Taylor and Travis get together in the first place? Believe it or not, it all started with a charm bracelet. But before we get into all that, you should probably know that Travis Kelsey has had his eye on Taylor for a while now, and he definitely has not been shy about dropping hints left and right. Way back in 2016, Travis definitely dropped major hints about his feelings for Taylor in an interview with ET Online. In the interview, he was asked a kiss, marry, kill question, and guess who he chose to lock lips with? Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, Katy Perry. Mary Taylor Swift would be the kiss. Well, it looks like he finally has Taylor locked down as rumors about the two potentially dating have been going crazy all over the internet since the summer, with many of Taylor's fans rooting for the relationship. So how did Travis finally get Taylor's attention? Well, Travis got tired of dropping hints and publicly declared his interest in Taylor in a way she could not ignore. He basically told the entire world he didn't mind being Taylor's new man. The NFL superstar attended the Eras Tour in July when Taylor was performing at Arrowhead Stadium, his team's home turf. Taylor's fans, who call themselves Swifties, spotted him at the concert and posted all about his appearance on social media. But Travis did more than just attend Taylor's tour. He and his brother, Jason Kelsey, discussed his appearance at the concert on their podcast, New Heights, where Travis revealed that he had made Taylor a bracelet and was disappointed when she refused to speak to him before her performance so he could give her the bracelet. He told his brother, if you're up on Taylor Swift concerts, there are friendship bracelets and I received a bunch of them being there, but I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it. His brother then proceeds to ask Travis which number he put on the bracelet, his jersey number or phone number, and what Travis said next definitely got fans talking. Being there, but I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it. Not right now. Ooh, yeah. your number's in 87 or your phone number? You know which one. Um, <laughs> Travis goes on to explain that Taylor probably didn't see anyone in an effort to save her voice, or maybe she just didn't want to see him. And his brother tried to play it off saying Taylor is probably a big Eagles fan and is still not over the Super Bowl yet. But that was enough to get headlines written and the seed planted in the minds of fans all over the world. And trust me, fans did not miss Travis's hint and were quick to commend him for his attempts at getting together with her. One fan tweeted, He had a friendship bracelet and a dream. 
But the fans were also quick to remind Travis that Taylor was just coming out of a devastating breakup, and she might need some time before she's ready to get back out there. According to reports, she and Joe ended things early this year after dating for six years. There was heartbreak all over the world, and major tears were shed when the news hit fans because most people thought Joe was her forever. The way she sang about him has fans dreaming of fairy tale weddings, but it was not meant to be. But if we know one thing about Taylor, it's that she definitely does not waste time getting back out there. At first, things were quiet on the Travis and Taylor front for a while, which might have something to do with the fact that she was completing the first US leg of her Eras tour and had just released her Speak Now Taylor's version, re-recording. At that time, she also announced the upcoming release of 1989, Taylor's version, during a concert in Los Angeles. So it's just that she was too busy to catch up with Travis's hints. But not for long. A clip surfaced of Travis Kelsey talking about Taylor Swift that had fans buzzing. A playful clip dropped in August when the Chiefs' social media did a TikTok video questioning players about their celebrity crushes. And when they got to Travis, he definitely did not let the moment slide. Of course, he pretended to think about it at first, but his teammate helped him out with the answer he was looking for. According to NBC News, Travis thought about his crush saying, mine was... Taylor Swift, his teammate said, which made Travis smile before moving on. The comment was brushed aside as just teammates teasing each other at the time, but then more hints started to drop again at the end of August. Through the Kelsey Brothers podcast, the NFL's preseason had begun, and Jason wanted to know what Taylor thought of Travis's mustache. Travis then went ahead to drop more hints, saying, Yeah, we're not going to bring up Taylor Swift in this episode, but something tells me she's going to like it. That comment was enough to reawaken the speculation that maybe Taylor and Travis were seeing each other after her tour schedule slowed down in early August. But Travis was keeping it on the DL and not giving fans any hot debts about their relationship and the rumors of the two hanging out began again. One source revealed that Taylor had dropped in to see Travis during her visit to New York, but sadly, there was no confirmation from them or pictures of them on secret dates. Well, lucky for fans, Travis's brother Jason wasn't as tight-lipped about the couple as Travis was. Although, he first tried to play off the rumors, saying he didn't know anything about his brother's love life. Jason declined to spill any tea about his brother at first. He was asked about it when he appeared on the Amazon Prime post-game show when one of the hosts decided to ask Jason a non-football question of the evening. Jason, you talk about family, and I have a 15-year-old daughter and she's a big fan of a certain pop star. And you have a family member, a brother, I think. And I've been hearing rumors that there's maybe some stuff, the host asked. Can you comment on this? But Jason pleaded the fifth. It's for my daughter, okay? What are we doing? Ever since catching Kelsey, everybody has been infatuated with Travis's love life. So um, I don't really know what's going on there. Um, so, yeah, I know Trav is, is having fun, and uh, we'll see what happens with whoever he ends up. <laughs> and only admitted to the fact that his brother was having fun. Fans were hoping for more deeds, and they started speculating that Jason probably knows what's going on but isn't saying anything because Travis asked him not to. But then the next time Jason was asked, he didn't disappoint. Jason Kelsey finally gave fans the confirmation they wanted, saying his younger brother, Travis Kelsey, is dating Taylor after he was asked if the two have been spending time together. It's hard to answer because I don't really know a lot about what's happening with Travis's love life, Jason, 35, said on the Whip Morning Show Wednesday after admitting he had been blindsided by questions about the speculation. I don't really know a lot about what's happening in Travis's love life. After saying he typically stays out of his brother's business and out of that world. I try to like keep you know, his business kind of his business sure. and stay out of that world. He then went ahead to say that he thinks the rumors are true and he hopes the relationship goes the distance. But the fans did not have to wait to hear from the horse's mouth directly, because someone finally asked Travis about it and he gave the fans some deeds. Travis was asked in an interview on The Pat McAfee Show whether the headlines about his personal life bothered him. He found all the speculation hilarious. 
But he also revealed that he had thrown the ball into Taylor's court by inviting her to watch him play at Arrowhead Stadium, the same stadium where he watched her perform during her tour. No, I mean, it's life, baby. It's life. I threw it out there. I threw the ball in her court. And, you know, I told her, you know, maybe uh, I've seen you rock the stage in Arrowhead. You might have to come see me rock the stage in Arrowhead and see which one's uh, a little more lit. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens in the near future. Well, it looks like Taylor took him up on his offer and made a big statement by showing up at Arrowhead Stadium to watch Travis. That's not all. Although the fans loved watching Taylor in her NFL era, it was the moment after the game that had Twitter buzzing. After the game was over and the Chiefs won, Taylor was later seen leaving the stadium with Travis, telling him it was the best after which they drove off together in a convertible. Taylor's fans were loving every minute of it. They loved seeing her having a good time at the game and posting memes all over social media about her enthusiasm, her potential romance, and her turning her back on her hometown team, the Eagles. But other than the fans talking about it, Travis also commented on Taylor coming out to support him at his game. He gave a shout out to Taylor on the latest episode of his podcast, saying it was a pretty bold move for her to actually show up. Shout out to Taylor for uh, for pulling up. That was pretty ballsy. That was pretty ballsy. Yeah, <laughs> I um, I just thought it was awesome how everybody in the suite had nothing but. He went ahead to add that she had earned his friends and family's approval. But wait, there's more. In photos obtained by TMZ, Taylor Swift and Travis were spotted packing on the PDA. It all went down at the after party following the Chiefs game. Eyewitness told ET that the two were very affectionate with one another, but kept things fun and lighthearted. Now, while the whole world thinks Taylor showing up at Travis's game was their first date, we're hearing something different. According to TMZ sources, they've hung out together several times over the last few months. These hangouts have naturally taken place in a very private setting. Another source confirmed their relationship to Entertainment Tonight, saying, Travis and Taylor have a lot in common and they are having a great time getting to know each other. They have similar values. She likes that he pursued her and it has been easy and exciting for both of them. So what do you think about Taylor dating Travis? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to check the next video.